<laughs> hey guys, happy Halloween. We decided to do something a little bit different this time for Halloween, mostly because we got a PSVR, so why not play it? I'm gonna tell you something, like scary games are good, just in normal, but when you slap that VR and you're in the world there, whoa. Oh yeah. It brings it to a new level. Freaky, like put your yeah. back out freaky. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. And we have video of you doing it, hurting your back yeah. several times playing scary games. We got 11 games that we've been playing. There's quite a few that we've actually played completely yes. through. The other ones that we've put a good amount of time in, I think we can talk about. We couldn't decide how to do this in what order, from least favorite to most favorite. We didn't want to rank these things. So no. what we did is I basically did a blind shuffle. I don't even know what's on the stack. They definitely don't, yeah. and I'm just gonna reach down, well, pull the game out, and we're gonna talk. We can say if we, we like it, we love it, or we hate it. And I'd yeah. like to rank it like X amount of puke buckets out of 10. Well, I think here's the rankings. <laughs> you need two different rankings when you're playing VR. You need the brown pants ranking for how scary it is. Yeah. And then you need the barf bag ranking for how nauseous this game possibly can make you. Yes. Yeah. Are we ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. We are ready. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five yes. Nights at Freddy's. Freddy's. It's the weirdest thing because this is one of the ones that we dabbled in. Yeah. Um, I think we all agree that maybe we need to give it another chance mm -hmm. because there wasn't a whole lot to it. We were sitting in the control room pushing buttons, basically trying to save battery to get to the end of your shift. You're like a security guard. Yeah, and you have to try to find tokens. Yeah, and it's just stupid jump scare. So once you get through that, then I got to the next level. The second level was the exact same thing, still sitting in the control room, and I was like, I'm yeah. like, fuck this shit there. This, well, you this couldn't move. Stupid. You're just like, bip, Yeah, bip, you just push bip. this button. Yeah, push that it button. just did Switching didn't... cameras and stuff. To be... I didn't even play it. Now, I just sat down and watched we these do, two play it. I and... have heard people say that Five Nights at Freddy's is really good, so I'm wondering if we just got to get into it a few levels. Yes. Then also, because to be fair, we played it with the DualShock instead of with the wand, with the move I controllers. I don't think that's going to make one hell of a bit of difference in that control room. Just It might, to be able to get You're literally things. just pushing buttons. Yeah, I know. It I, might be, to but get no. Because it felt like you I were got limited. Everything. I got limited everything. Limited how far you could actually, with the DualShock, where you have a little bit more control with having the two move controllers. You I wasn't terribly I mean? impressed with the game myself. I need you guys in the comments to talk me into actually put more time in Yeah, it. is it really worth putting back yeah. in the yeah. console? Yeah, and I, I said I was going to, but I just didn't get around to it this week and nobody I've, was sad. My <laughs> thoughts are this is basically cute jump scares for kids. It might be. Uh, yeah, my I, impression of it for the hour that I may, it did may have freak put me into out it. when it showed up at the door the first time because I wasn't sure you what was. You didn't even move. Well, no, but you I said jump it all. freaked me out yeah. a little bit. I don't know. It was just lackluster. Yeah, a little lackluster. It, it might get better. I don't know, but I just if it doesn't grab you right away, yeah. Yeah, it's time to move on. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. there was no brown pants factor into this and <laughs> scores a zero on the brown pants out of five and yeah. it was a zero and a zero on the puke bucket because you, or you, the didn't, puke move you didn't move around <laughs> you didn't move around although i guess you do later on later on yeah but we didn't get to later on because we couldn't it couldn't grab our attention all right because enough about five right. nights at freddy's five nights at freddy's it was forgetful <laughs> was yeah. yeah yeah so this one here is not okay you have oh! until the oh! rush of blood this is a freaking fantastic game. Yes. First time you play it, I think it would rank probably in the four out of five brown pants score. Oh yeah. Now, when we first played it, <laughs> Scott I, jumped in first. I jumped in first. Yeah. I'm like, Scott doesn't get scared. I don't give a shit. <laughs> anyway, it there was a couple of jump scares that caught me off guard and amped me up, and the game doesn't give you enough time to wind back down. It, it just doesn't. keeps rolling in, and I couldn't get wound back down. And they were watching me, 
And, and I didn't I want to play. I only played what? Is it five chapters? I feel like something no, I think like that. Might be more, more than, than that. that. Might be more than yeah. that. Anyway, I think I played maybe three of them, and I took the VR. I was like, right, I need a break. I'm sweating and everything. And you both, you guys looked at me and said. I don't think I want to play. <laughs> no, because you got scared. Like you got, you were jumping, and I never. You're not that person. <laughs> well, yeah, like seeing Scott doing like a little jump, like me and Jenna looking at each other, going like, "Oh, oh I don't want to play this game." I know like, it sounds like I'm full of shit, but Jen actually has video proof. And it was Dennis playing Paranormal Activity. Yes, and, and we both screamed our heads off, and he, like a psychopath, sat still. They both. <laughs> and so when he was jumping at this one, I was like, there's like, no uh -oh. way I'm playing this. <laughs> it looks terrifying. But what this game does that no other game on this list does is it keeps you so focused on shooting at those targets, you yeah. don't see the jumps coming. Yeah. Yeah. And you're it's an, like an on-rail shooter almost because an, you're in a roller coaster. It's basically an on-rail shooter. The, the roller coaster stops. It gives time for enemies to come running at you. You're shooting it the whole time. It gives you like... There's a fair amount of jump scares there in there. There is. There's a lot of creep yeah. factor. The yeah. graphics oh, yeah. are fantastic. Oh, they're fantastic. Um, four out of five in the brown pants area and in the uh, in the barf bag, I would say uh, maybe a mild one or two. Oh, yeah. If yeah, it, it wasn't enough, overwhelming. If no. you play it long enough, then you're going to feel a little bit queasy. It's mostly when you're going like... like really straight down in the roller coaster and I found that was only really one level. And everybody does the same thing when they're in the roller coaster. They're sitting in the chair and then when the roller coaster goes down they really <laughs> leaves like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Next game Dennis won't have anything to say because he didn't even get to see it. Yeah. I played it this afternoon. Jem watched. Yeah. It is the persistence. This is Oh, it has a lot of alien isolation. It did, yes. And some, even some dead space, probably, vibes going on yeah. there. Yeah. Because you're trapped on a space station, and you have to accomplish a bunch of things. You're trying to get the, the space station back online and going. And there's, I believe... Was it something that was making clones? Because you're a clone. You're a and clone. And every time you die, the computer brings you back and then downloads but you back into a new body. They're cloning things, but they're um, not human. Yeah, there's that's one that's one that's uh, it's like malfunctioning and it's it's just keeps on cloning these like monsters basically. Yeah, and there's so Almost many different types of monsters. A zombie style. Okay. Yeah. It's like Alien Isolation met Resident Evil. Yeah, well, okay. yeah. 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 Um, I ended up, I don't know, I had to put it on assistant mode because Even though they tried to talk you out of it. They really the want to oh, talk like, you no, out of it. No, no, no this, they don't, they don't want you to because it's a roguelike game. You're meant to go in there and die a lot. Yes. Restart. And then the resources that you pick up each time you can add to your character and your yeah. equipment and stuff. And that helps you get a little farther each time. Um, even with the assisted mode on, I still died. Well, there was that one monster that would tr teleport. And yeah. I, I don't even know how she killed you, really. Well, it's like shot some like laser out of her chest or yeah. lava or whatever it was. Well. And every weapon you get, there's some cool weapons, but they're limited. They so are. I get a gun that has six bullets in it. Once I bunk, 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 you know, got my six you rounds out, count. the... It, uh, they oh, just, yeah. it just ejects. You can't even keep the it, weapon. You, you just eject the weapon onto the floor and it disappears. It and you're disappears. like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. This on the brown pants scale, I would put between three and four. Yeah. And I would all. Because they come right at it, you. Oh yeah. And uh, they're they're hiding and some of them have guns and, and it's. You're meant to die a lot and there's a lot of jump scares. Yeah. And depending on if you have. Because you can have an infrared on with the assistant mode yep. so you can see through the walls they glow red yep. you know where you, they are you'll if you, hear them first and yes. then you can hit that and you can kind of see them through walls and you know roughly where exactly they are. but if you don't have yeah. that on oh Jesus. you would get jump scared yep. more mm -hmm. way more yep on a on the barf. on the barf level even with all the stuff changed to where i felt it was the best that i could move around through the game i still only played about two and a half hours and still felt you get that 
metallic. You get that taste in your mouth, like, yeah. all right, I'm getting yeah. nauseous. Time, time to shut her down. And there was one point where I got up to use the washroom, I think about halfway through my two and a half hour session, and I like staggered yeah. after I took the, the, the yeah. uh, VR off. And I was, he wasn't, he wasn't I, even drinking. I wasn't even drinking. Maybe it was the beer. No, oh, no, I, I, ate, ate, I was a little bit nauseous, uh -huh. for sure. <laughs> I think it's worth a pickup. I think Dennis would like it. I think when when I first got into the game and you're going into the space and you're looking around, and you're like, oh yeah, holy shit, this looks good. Yeah, like it's it's pretty damn good. I I, I definitely want to play more of it, but it's gonna have to be where we tag in and out a lot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Control Pass the parts, control. For sure. yeah. Absolutely. I don't even recognize the back of this one, so it's gonna be a surprise for me. Surprise Bring for out. everyone. Yes. All the inpatient. The inpatient. What do we think about the inpatient? Um, I overall am a little bit disappointed because of the ending. This is a prequel to Until Dawn. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember yes. you telling me that. Yeah. Yeah. You're in an insa insane asylum. Yes. And um, you're basically trapped in your cell for the first little part, and you have a cellmate at one part and at one point. Mm -hmm. But every time you go to bed. That's when you have start having nightmares. Yeah. I never seen Jen jump and scream so damn hard. I she almost fucking jumped out of the chair. It was. <laughs> I but you know swear what? to God. And that was her at the first, and that was the whole climax. That right was the, the biggest part of it. There are alternate endings. Mm, I don't know. How? I don't know how many, but you do make choices through the game. There's a butterfly effect. There is a butterfly effect. Yes. The, I think the most special thing about this game that I really enjoyed is that you could turn on voice control and... Yes, you could. Yeah, and tell them what you want. The first of the game was so brilliant. They have you tied down yeah. to a wheelchair and then they're giving you injections and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. And, and they're crappy. asking you to think and like, yeah. they're sure you didn't say You anything? have amnesia. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really cool. I feel like it was a missed opportunity for a much better game. It was. Um, I don't know if they just rushed it out to get it done. I don't know. It, it felt like it could have been so I don't much know if better. it was because of our choices. It could have been because of our choices. But I think the game got didn't get as much love from us is because of the lackluster ending. Yeah. Game. It was very lackluster. Yeah, we were like, and like, that's, that's it. Because I kept thinking, uh, there's a really? woman at the end that you keep keep thinking she's going off. She's like, she's gonna. I didn't trust her at all. No, I had eyes on her the whole time. Yeah. Brown pants score. Lackluster. Mm. There was that one that Jen jumped out of her skin. After that, I would say it's probably a. Two. two. That's what agree? I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking two, 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 two and a half. Two. It was a number two on the it brown pants. It was a number pants. two on the brown pants. <laughs> it tried to keep now, you on your seat with constantly thinking there was yeah. something coming up, but there was with no nothing. follow through. There was not enough jump scares in that mm. there. And it yeah. was nauseating. This one was nauseating. Even after Dennis came on over and setting. we changed as many settings as we could, it was still... Because you don't great. get so nauseous in VR, and you even found Jen couldn't this one. play it at all. Yeah. I couldn't. You got you didn't mind it that much. I didn't mind it. I I don't. Once you had that. the settings, then I I jumped in on the settings that you had set up, and I didn't mind it. Yeah. yeah. Now, wasn't great either because the the movement was weird. Yeah. It's like you're almost walking sideways sometimes. There. Yeah, it was hard. Because that, that was the game there with the flashlight there that I couldn't figure out the flashlight. <laughs> it was I, your controller. Until I learned it. I was like, why am I looking now over there? And then I figured out, oh, it's my controller. Yeah, it's your flashlight. Yeah. It's your controller. Next one on the list is... Ah, The Walking Dead, the Saints and Sinners Complete Edition. I was so excited for this game. I think I talked about it several times. This on the was channel. recommended to us by Level A57. Yes. And when they recommended it, they told us to put it on the easiest mode. And did we listen? No. No. <laughs> and we should have. And we should have. Because when it's not on the easiest mode, it's it's damn difficult. Oh fuck. Holy. And I think even we on put... the easiest mode, it's challenging Probably challenging, anyways. yeah. Yeah, um, I think that's what they said. We, see, we didn't even get through that first mission. No, that first town where work. we have to get off the boat. I, because uh, I think both of you tried and you both died, and then I went in there and I cleaned out that mansion. Because once 
nighttime hits. You're screwed. All hell breaks loose. The zombies just take over the town. It's, yeah. it's crazy. So that, but you still have to get back to your boat. So I absolutely cleaned out. I took every resource in that mm -hmm. building. I thought I am ready. It's go time. Yeah. So I go out of the building. I gotta head back towards the boat. I get into the adjacent yard. Yep. Crawl through a little hole, and then there's zombies, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill them, I'm gonna take them out. And what you do with your get move controllers, you can grab them by the head or the throat, I can't yeah. remember, and, and then, then you put your gun, them. bang, shoot them, it drops, and it's like a, you can't miss. Yeah. So I was doing that, and I cleaned them out, I walk around the yard, and then there's like three more, and I'm like, what the fuck, and I bang, 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 kill them, I walk around the yard, three more, I'm like, and they just kept coming back, and kept coming back, my I'm like, favorite. what the hell, and then my gun exploded! <laughs> My gun exploded! It was bullshit! I was like, what? Yeah. I've got all favorite these bullets part. and no gun? So she gets online and starts looking up, well, what do we gotta do? Somebody recommend grabbing a propane tank, using it as a battering ram, and just work your way through the fucking horde. Yeah. That was not easy. <laughs> I finally get back to the boat. It's the wrong fucking boat. <laughs> I'm on the wrong boat. I had to be on the other one, on the yeah. other side. So I'm standing oh. on the boat thinking they can't get to me. No, no, they can. So I'm like pulling out knives and shivs and killing everything I can, and I completely run out of resources. I think it's gonna be. I think it'll be really good. We, we gotta go so... back and we gotta put it on the easiest level and just kind of play it and enjoy the story. But it was so cool. Like, yep. oh, I need something out of my backpack. You reach over with your hand and you get yep. it, and then you're just like, oh, something on a my hand. Shotgun. It was so cool. I had a handgun. Yeah. I had multiple knives. Yeah. I had every bullet I could imagine. I know. I think I even had an axe or something at one point. Ooh. And like yes. I completely yes. lost all that stuff. I should have been just Wait, too we have to start over. Two funny parts with that game. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. The first one is Jen doing the tutorial to start and she's got it all figured out. <laughs> and then the starts to play the game her first and the zombie. very first zombie that comes at her gets closer and she panics ah! and she starts doing spins in her chair she does about seven I, turns i have a bar stool so yeah it will swivel and she literally just screwed screwed herself <laughs> <laughs> like, like literally screwed herself so this whole time she has a wire hooked to the back of her head and it's getting wrapped around the post there on the bottom there. And I'm like, she's gonna hang herself. <laughs> <laughs> but it was such a missed opportunity to not be recording that at that oh, moment God. because it freaked me out so bad. That's what I remember the most about that game. Yeah. And the yeah. second spot was when I took control and I found a big propane tank and there was like two or three zombies. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to blow them up. I'm going to blow them up. So I'm going to throw the propane tank at their feet and then I'm going to shoot it <laughs> and then they're all going to explode because that's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> However, when I took the propane tank and I threw it at their feet and they heard me and they turned around, they proceeded to walk <laughs> towards me and kicked the propane tank <laughs> towards me. <laughs> Plan fail. Yeah. It was awesome. It was, yeah. And you know, I know we're not giving this thing a great review, but uh, I honestly do think that it's going to be a good one. There. I we, do too. We just have to get through it. We gotta start it over. We'll, we'll, we'll try it again. The controls are a little bit. No, the controls aren't that no, no, bad. No, no, they're not bad. There's not a bad. lot to it. There is. So if you're expecting oh my something God, yes. very. Yep. It's it's more complex than I think we realized it yeah, yeah. would be. Because you you remember when very... I went to shoot the zombies and then I dropped my bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have to like. Yeah. You have to kind of. Yeah, you have to because you got a six shooter, eight shooter, and you go, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and I just whatever. turned it into. Quick yeah, so he's like, he went like this or something on the bullets. Oh, oh. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> here come the zombies out, <laughs> trying to pick up bullet by bullet. You literally <laughs> have to load it one bullet at a time. <laughs> There is it. So uh, much fun. It's awesome. It is it's a, awesome. It's I want to play that. That now. might be one that we should try and How many stream. brown pants? No. 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 no one. Really. one. Maybe maybe you let go. <laughs> maybe. I don't know and if you let if you tooted at one point there. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't burfy. No. I didn't find it burfy at all. I don't remember it being no neither me. Nauseous at all. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> you said it. Uh, Neither me. Mm -hmm. All right, as you guys can tell, this is not a, a VR game. This is a placeholder. This is a placeholder, yeah. Because there is no physical copy for The Exorcist. Uh, was it Legion? Yes, I do believe yeah. so. Uh, it is 
five chapters. It's digital download mm -hmm. only. Um, the chapters aren't terribly long. You guys played through three out of the five. Mm -hmm. I did not play any of them because that was the same day I got my second vaccination shot and was not feeling Not good. feeling the greatest, so, yeah. What are your thoughts? I know Dennis almost crippled himself at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it was a jump scare. Jump I scared almost, so bad, something come up out of the floor out of him. Oh, oh, my back! <laughs> I put my back out twice in that game. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I mean, I only played the one level, but the level that I played scared the crap out of me because I was just running down yeah. the hallway and all of a sudden this thing popped up and I'm just like, oh, oh my back! <laughs> That was a freaky one, and I'm happy I didn't have wow. to do it. Yeah, that was a good one. So, from what I seen of it, I I looked it's, really cool. It's really, and you did try to, you did try it after that, but you tried it with the Dual Shock, and it does not work as well with oh, the Dual Shock. No, no, it, it doesn't. needs oh, okay. to be moved yeah, it controllers. Um, yeah. My only problem with the game was I wasn't sure what to do at first. In the first chapter, you're collecting all these things, so you actually have this like hollowed out bible it seems and it has like salt spray and a torch and a cross and you're finding it all in that first level and i'm like what the fuck do i do with all this stuff i don't know what to do with yeah. it had i known process. yeah had i known yes. that i needed to use this on that first demon that pops up on me didn't you take a quick video of jen playing there yeah? Was that the game? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. I do have a. I do. Do you have get her that. when she's screaming her fucking head off? Wow, she's which doing is almost every game. Which yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She does that when she it makes breakfast. It was a breakfast. freaky ass game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go find the cat. Here, kitty, kitty, oh, kitty. The cat's always up on the altar. That's where it is. <laughs> No, it, 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 the, the jump scares are there, like, oh, yeah. when you yeah. see something coming at you and mm -hmm. you don't quite know what what you're going to do to defend yourself. Brown pants levels? Oh. What's the score on the brown pants? Well, I mean, I I, I brown pants myself to <laughs> a, a hurt back. At least twice, so, you brown pants. So at least, I, I mean, I'm, I I don't want to say it's like a five out of five, but a solid, it's a solid. <laughs> it's score. a solid brown. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a solid brown pants. So I would at least give it a four. I would say it's a four because yeah. I was moving so hellishly slow in that third Jen chapter. Jen could make that game so long. <laughs> We actually got <laughs> bored, and we were playing on our phones. <laughs> and she's like, what do I do? What, what do I do? do? And we were like, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Did you start playing? <laughs> I was, it was terrifying. Because uh. I was like, it, it was the one with the baby, and it was creepy as fuck, and I didn't know what to do. And I still didn't know what to do. And, oh, man. You it, finished that level. I did finish yeah, that finished, level. Yeah. Yes, I did. All right. Was it, uh, how, what, what about the barf bag? I, I, didn't, say, like, I didn't have any. Uh, I didn't play it at all, really, so I can't. Oh, I play. had a little tiny bit, but ne almost negligible. If I had to, you'd say like one out of. Five. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, like yeah, at, the, not at the most, like a two, but yeah. it's like a low two. Does that make sense? It was a soft two. <laughs> uh, it was a soft two. It came right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, home sweet home. Home sweet home. That was one of the first ones that we played. Yes. And admittedly, we did not have a whole lot of experience on VR because we only got it here a few months I ago. I think this was the game we played right after <clears throat> Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. And that one yep. was so easy yep. control-wise. Well, there's almost no, nothing to There's nothing. Yeah, you can recalibrate if your guns get off, but that's about it. So, I think there's a lot to this game. I think there's actually going to be really good. I think it's going to be really good But we didn't really too. realize how to go in and change your movement settings and stuff to make it like a little less more user friendly burfy. less burfy yeah i this one can also be played this. not in vr and i did oh. play a bit of it and uh, it was very cool what i played I, not in vr i started it yeah and i didn't play a whole lot you had to run and get through that door yeah and i think you played it after that i, I did i tagged out quite fast I, there i'm trying to place that game i can't remember which one was it's that it's the one with the box cutter girl there the guy oh, she's chasing you and she's got a box yeah, cutter yeah, and she yeah, comes yeah, and yeah. slashes the yeah. hell of you 
and it gets a lot worse after that, but um, what was throwing me off is that, I can't remember, is it a snap? It was the snap. It was yeah. the uh, the side to side. Oh, yes. It was a very snappy, very shuddery. Yeah. And we didn't, we didn't realize, realize we could change that. Yeah. So that could have been a game changer for this like, game. Look on the back of that. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Yeah, yes, I know. do not remember yeah. me I having remember to hide guy. behind things. So he wouldn't see me, like and then when he would turn, eyes. I would go. Yeah. yeah, it was a really, really cool concept that I yeah. think we failed. I, we I, failed the game. We failed at it. I think brown pants wise, would I would put it in between three and a four. Well, yeah. that was the one because her with the box cutter would come out, and you'd have to find somewhere to got hide. Run. Well, you could hide in like. Uh, closet or lockers, lockers and there's, you're just sitting there and, you're, no and you're trying fighting. to look through the vents yeah. and you're like oh don't look in here don't look in here and yeah, yeah it's it just freaky. that last uh was it uh outlast kind of vibes where you oh. could only yeah run. yes yeah, no fighting back yeah definitely gotta play it more like yeah. i said yeah. probably a four three between three and four they're yeah, on the I brown pants and we can't even really speak to barf bag barf levels bag because levels. we didn't know how to change we screwed them. up on that yeah, yeah. that was and, us uh, we will play more of it absolutely yep. oh don't knock twice yeah you know what the fuck happens don't when knock you do that? twice too late so all right this one here is uh basically you're in a mansion that is mm -hmm. cursed, right? Yeah. Or at least the door is cursed. Because the uh, neighborhood kids would uh, basically tease, I feel like it was like the old, an old woman, which mm -hmm. was a witch or something. So she put a, they would go up and they'd knock on the door and they'd run away and do whatever. So she put a curse on the door. So if you knock twice on her door and her kid. Yes, exactly. She stole the soul of yeah. kids. Yeah. That's how. So you basically walk around this mansion the whole time, and your well, it's your bitchy, house. Is it your house? I think it's your house. Is yeah. It? Anyway, your bitchy girlfriend there <laughs> keeps sending you voice messages and calling you, and she's being kind of a see you next Tuesday. Oh yeah, yeah. she's not being nice at all. I was the only one that played this. This game well, is not long. We kept asking you if you want to tag out, and you were <laughs> enjoying it. So it was fun. Well, yeah, like... I enjoyed this game. It's very user friendly. Yeah. Um, you actually, uh, on the barf bag scale, I put it on as zero, zero barf bags. Well, you were doing the teleport option yep. and you actually really enjoyed it, so you kept up with that. Yeah. But in the brown pants area, I would give it no more than a soft two. Soft two. <laughs> a soft two. Maybe even yeah. a watery two. She, I, think, <laughs> I think this would have scared Jen. It would have scared Jen. Everything there was Jen. one part where I did flinch. Yes. And it's in... Uh, it's not a church. Was it a church or whatever? Well, you're out. It's where the, uh, it's like a pentagram that's drawn, and there's a statue there, and it's a woman holding a baby. <sighs> and then you go and you do something, and <laughs> then, after the, baby it, then the baby disappears in the hand. You go on it, you examine the statue or whatever, and then I, all right, I leave. And it was probably 15, 20 minutes later. Like, it felt like it was a long time. Yeah. I um, I had got a blowtorch and I had accidentally dropped it. So when I dropped it, when I looked down in my VR, I looked down in between my feet and the stupid baby statue thing is in between my feet <laughs> looking up to me and, go, ah, and jumps up and it looks like it's going to grab you right in the old banana there. And it made me flinch, I'll tell you that. They laughed and that's the only thing that made me flinch. I said, I don't care uh, what it is. If something goes after your banana there, you're going to flinch. You're going to flinch. <laughs> But I, I was wondering, I was, how long was that thing following there. me, like, around my feet? There. How long has that thing been there? <laughs> <laughs> there was a fair amount of jump scares. Yeah. It just doesn't scare me. It, it was a good, it was a really good looking game. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I think you, you did guys... get stuck in one spot. What did I get stuck on? It was remember. because you couldn't go up the ladder, up the stairs oh, to the attic. Oh, that was more oh, of a game glitch. That, that was, was a more game of a glitch. Game we had glitch. to take yes. it out of uh, VR mode. Yes. Go into because you can play it both ways with the controller. Yeah. Just on your TV. And you guys, you play it in VR. you'll probably notice that this is a Peggy 16 game yep. because it's hella, hella, hella expensive. NTSC and. Uh, yeah, I tried to get that one, but Walmart.com sent me the wrong one. And we won't talk about that. That was a whole issue. Yeah. Yep. Very good. This will be something I will probably pick up every Halloween. It was yeah. enjoyable. It, yeah. I don't know how many times I could play through it there that 
I would like get bored of it because the environments were really cool. The mansion was really spooky. Yeah. Lots of sounds that kind of were trippy. I think I would enjoy it just as much watching Jen scream See, that her would face be, off. You know, the, the <clears throat> next year when you put it in, yep. you, you can sit down and watch I'll it. I'll watch and it and watch, watch somebody play. I'll watch Jen freak out. Yeah, yeah I'll That would be a out. fantastic stream. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next one is... Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul. Oh, yeah. And this is basically Dennis's baby. Well... I played a little <laughs> bit of it. Jen couldn't play anything there, because I don't know what it no, was there. She no, tapped out so no, easy. No, no, you know what? I didn't even tap out on this You didn't one. even play it? No, Dennis played all of it. No, I played a little bit of it. Okay. Not much, you like a half an hour. Here's yeah, what you happened. tapped out because you were getting nauseated. Yes. Did you was not? this not yeah. the rock, paper, scissors situation where you said whoever loses has to, or whoever wins has to play first? And I said, that's a dumbass choice. And then you won at rock, paper, scissors. Because <laughs> <laughs> I always lose. lose. We're going to do some stupid shit as we always do on Retro Rivals. We're going to play Paranormal activities lost VR. Souls in vr um rock paper scissors style baby guess not bring an extra pair of underwear the winner is actually the loser who gets, gets to, to go play first. first yeah okay. so you can't legitimately throw a rock paper scissors <laughs> match <laughs> even though wait I i'm gonna be the first wait i'm gonna fucking tank this all right okay. one rock, two paper, three scissors. Shit, we both lost. Dennis the winner. Oh! <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> you guys yeah. did on purpose. No, oh, yeah, we. Yes, you just kept on saying that we can't throw a fucking rock, paper, scissors, and you just. Damn it! It's not a long game because Lots of jump we played scares. it all in one sitting. I want to say it was three to four hours. Yeah, I finished it. Yeah. One night. Lots of jump scares. Lots of jump scares. Yes. Pretty yeah. creepy. Oh, yes. yeah. It's all in one house again that's haunted. Yeah. Obviously. That last mission is really intense because you had to move fast. Are you trying to remember? I'm trying to remember. Trying to, yeah. You needed to grab everything and put oh, it in the yeah, spot ahead to stuff. go. Yeah, I grabbed stuff. Yeah, I'm just trying to get past the fact when that crow scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, that was <laughs> right at the first... Very first, first huh? Within the first he, like, she, minute. She has video of this, I, I think. have video of the almost... The oh my thing. god. Yeah, yeah, you do have Looked video. Looked at a hole, crows flew out and scared the bejesus out of me. And he gosh. wasn't even in the house I wasn't at even that the house. Christ the fucking mighty! It is like the first minute, and I already yeah. had to change my. <laughs> and then I had decided I didn't want to play. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not playing this one. Oh jeez. But yeah, there was lots. Well, I don't want to say lots of jump scares, but, but the there was a lot that, of stuff that freaked. Yes, the ones that did hit hit good. The yeah. graph oh, graphically, it looked great inside the house. Oh, that is the scene. That is the game with the bedroom. Yes. Uh, oh, it's yeah. a solid four brown pants. <laughs> yeah. Maybe even four and a half. It's a good, a good hard four. There, <laughs> like it. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. As far as nauseous puke bags or barf bags go, um, for me, it's between a three and a four. Yeah. Because I had a hard time with it for yeah. some reason. But I think you are more tolerant. To I think I'm more tolerant I... to that stuff. Yeah. Yes. Like the, the moving like that. Yeah. I don't know why. Now it's weird because we can put you on Roller Coaster Tycoon and you'll fucking lose your yeah, mind. Yeah, when we were and I don't get nauseous. When at we all. were compiling this list of games, we were like, "Oh, we have 11." <laughs> Dennis is like, "Yeah, but what about Roller Coaster Tycoon?" And I'm like, "You're the only one that's afraid of that. That's that not actually." That is the worst horror survival. It's a five. <laughs> it's a five. It's a, it's a five. No, that's like a. Eight out of five <laughs> brown pants. Yeah. Paranormal activity. Liked it. It's uh, a very good one. Oh, yeah, it really is. good. It was good just to sit and watch. It, was, it um, was. It's something that I would put along the same lines as Don't Knock Twice, that, you know, around the Halloween season. It's a yeah. quick game. Mm -hmm. Throw it in. Put it in there probably what, Judge every Raven? year. Scared? Well, that would be the Scream. fun part. Like, Dennis played through pretty much the whole thing himself. Yeah. Next time, if either of us or if we tag out. You know, yeah. if we have a good solid week that you could play through it. 
<laughs> Jen would turn that three, four hour game into a good six, eight hour game. I think it's a six, eight day game. <laughs> yes, yes, probably. Next on the list is Resident Evil Biohazard. Yeah. The gold edition. Now, we're going to be honest with this. We haven't had time to put this one in. The only ex the amount of experience we have with this is I played about 45 minutes of this over at your mother's house yes. on your uncle's. And I played about 15 minutes of it standing still saying, I can't, I can't, guys, yeah. I can't. It's too scary. So this is a must, must play for us. Yes. Um, there's still time in the month of October. I would imagine <laughs> as scary as that game was we've all, in regular play. I say I keep saying we've all played through it not in VR except for one of us. <laughs> she played a teeny tiny bit. But that's when I first started playing games. And can we put the highlights of those? Yes, I'm sure you'll be let's much put the highlights better in those. now. Yeah, yeah. Let's put the highlights in there, some of the screams. I think I would be anyway. better now, but it would still terrify the holy bejesus yes. we, out of me. We debated on even talking about this because we really didn't have a whole lot of experience. But it's such a beloved... Um, when people it, talk about scary survival horror VR games, you this go, one always comes yeah, up as top. Yeah, you go look up top... 10 list for scary VR games and this is always in the top one. I two. can guarantee you in the scene when you're in the garage in the car I That was awesome. That's what I nearly I, shit that's myself what I when I looked with my controller. I was like holy crap. I couldn't imagine what it's like in VR. Oh, it's so good. I'm going <laughs> to It's so good. I'm going to bring a bucket. Like you're you're I'm going to sit in a the bucket there. and play that. You're game. you're there. You're that's steering it. That's a five. That's a five on the brown pants. I haven't played hey, it at all. Scott, like, you jumped and screamed during this one, not in VR. So it has to be a... It, can you imagine experiencing it for the very first time in VR? It would be a five. I don't know. Can't say. Well... Solid, strenuous five. There's a there's a guy at work that he had the game and they played or they started to play it in VR. And his son was playing it. And when you're in the at the very start, when you're in the house... He would literally walk up and he would. You can look around corners. Oh yeah. Peek over to the corner and he's like, "I'm. I don't want to go down that corridor." <laughs> and it's like, "Well, that's part of the game, son." It's, for me, it's gonna be the stairs. It's pretty dark. Oh like, yeah. The stairs when you're going oh. down and Mia comes flying up at you. That's gonna be freaking awesome. Oh. All right. Look Terrified. what we got here, and this is the last one that we actually played. We yes. just finished playing this. We well, didn't we didn't finish, finish it. it. But, but we only put it in here a couple hours ago, and we have probably two-ish hours, three hours yes. into it. Yeah, I would And say. it's another Walking Dead. It's the Walking Dead Onslaught, the deluxe edition. So if you're a fan of the show, that this gives this you what is, the other one doesn't. Yeah. Now, there's two different kind of aspects to this game. Yeah. There are chapters where it's more of a story it's mode. It's kind of telling Daryl's story. Yes. What took him so long to get back to camp, why his leg is injured. Yeah. Now, to get to each chapter you have to go and do these scavenger missions that are difficult oh yeah <laughs> yeah i mean we're still getting used to the game the controls. And, and the controls but everything is very fluid in the game like when you're swinging your motion uh, sensor like and the, the knife is swinging yeah and it's smooth it's very smooth because i felt like this control wise was a little bit tighter than uh, Saints and Sinners. Because it felt like when you grabbed Definitely. the head, I didn't, you grabbed, and then that knife was yes. actually going in most of the time. Yes. I didn't have time to play this one. You didn't have time to play that one. But I I would have kept playing it. I just you were, kept, you I had, was getting frustrated. You had on the, uh, on the, like, the teleport kind of emotion. Yes. Where Dennis took that off, and his was way faster. Than yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, but if you're you, still getting swarmed. Oh yeah. Just, what is the horde? As soon as the horde it. gets to you, like, it's and it we're still getting used to the controls, and I'm just like, you get overwhelmed. They're behind you, and I'm They're spinning all and turning, and I, I get turned you were around. You're getting disoriented. Well, I would Your get turned around so yeah. much that yeah. the. the the sensor the doesn't pick up yeah. my controls or because I'm swinging it out my ass and I'm like, wow, freaking out. <laughs> yeah. But so far, I'm really liking the I'm, game. I'm actually. We're probably really gonna play. Forward. We're gonna play through this. This I, is a definitely. And bad. if you like the series, what there's helps the game is you actually see the characters. You have the yes. tools and the Michelle and, and you get to Rick. pick. It's connected. You yeah. get to pick who you play as too. Every time you go to the van to go on that mission, you get to pick. Yep. Which is yeah. pretty cool. Now. On the brown pants factor, 
It wasn't scary. It not it didn't scary, look scary. No. no, it's a zombie it was, game. It wasn't yeah. scary as much as it was scavenger. overwhelming when yeah. you were with the hordes. And I would say that's true of any game. Like if you're playing a shooter and there's a lot of enemies, you're getting overwhelmed. You're not scared. You're overwhelmed. Yeah. And this and, is what that. Was. But if zombies scare you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I love like, be killing a zombies. Yeah. I love it. I, If I could do it for a living, I would. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to we'll get bring that on the apocalypse. Or, yeah. Bring on the apocalypse. Yeah. I want to do it. Um, on the old the, uh, birth bag scale, both of you said that... I it, had no issues. So, zeros. Yeah. Oh, no. When I she first, had the teleporter. Kinda. She yes. had the teleporter, and I don't, I, going forwards is, is fine. But when I would move the, the, the smooth yeah. one, yeah. it took me a little while to get used to it. But I, yeah. so I, I would say like a a one maybe. Okay, yeah. still two that's, at that's, the most. That's, it, it's really not. That's probably a very average or yeah, a good a good yes. a good VR game. Yeah. Now, if I had to compare the two, because I've actually looked at stats of these games online, people tend to like Saints and Sinners more. I think this is more suited to the novice VR player. It's no. a lot. The controls, there's it's very minimal. Simplest. Simple, simple. Simplistic. But if you like a more uh, complicated control system where yeah, you have I can more, see that those move I, controllers aren't great. Like you, I don't remember the buttons. Well, my, it felt like my hands were always like this. Like yeah. when I looked at my down at my hands, I'm like, now, why, why? Jen, is this game a little bit rare in the NTSC? It's harder to find an NTSC. It's definitely harder for to find. Sure. So, um, mm -hmm. for all you collectors out there, I would suggest picking it up sooner than later. Yes. It's it, from what I've seen, it looks pretty damn good. We all agree we want to play through. Oh it. yeah. Yeah. Now, since I say that, for this stack of eleven games. I would say that most of them, if not all of them, except for Five Nights at Freddy's, <laughs> are games that we say we want to play through. There are some that we've already finished. Yeah. yeah. Um, the only one that worries me is the persistence because it's such a long game. Yeah. And there would be that, a lot yeah. of tagging out. There yeah. would have to be. Yeah. There would have to be. I think we can all agree Until Dawn, Rush of Blood was our Hands if you down, want best a game. good, hell of a scary ride for Halloween, yeah, it's and it, a cheap game right now. It's a cheap game, but I'm game. telling you, don't wait on it. I just, I don't. I think it's just, yeah. it's almost a hidden gem. I don't hear people talk about it. These are phenomenal games, most of them, and some of them maybe we have to give Lux more time to. Some of them to. very lackluster. Though. Yeah, yeah, right. but for the most part, I think we enjoyed. Uh, playing all these. I will be interested to see what we have for next Halloween. Ooh, yeah. Because the games are going to get better and scarier. Yep. And... Absolutely, and the graphics are going to get even more intense. <laughs> Alright, till next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Game on. Game on. Game on. <laughs>